Presidential hopeful Prabowo Subianto's campaign team fired back at the retired army general and political rival Viranto over allegations that Prabowo alone ordered the kidnapping of pro-democracy activists in 1998. The campaign team claimed on Friday that Viranto was in violation of election law. Campaign officials say they will report Viranto to the election supervisory board Bawaslu for spreading a smear campaign ahead of the July 9th election. It's a sticky accusation for the Prabowo team. The former Kopasu Special Forces General was dismissed from a top military post over the claims. Prabowo contends that he was only following orders from the top, a claim that Viranto and a small group of other retired military officials dismiss as a lie. Accusations of military involvement in the anti-Chinese riots that shook Jakarta surfaced shortly after the violence subsided. Both Viranto and Prabowo have separately denied any involvement in the riots, but Viranto's decision to place the blame squarely on Prabowo's shoulder now has his camp on the defensive. Campaign officials responded by claiming Viranto's statements were politically motivated and subject to Bawaslu's sanctions. Ya kami kalau untuk Pak Wiranto, kasus Pak Wiranto, eh, kami menyampaikan bukti tambahan berupa pemberitaan di media massa nasional yang isinya adalah Pak Wiranto menyebut Pak Prabowo berinisiatif melakukan pencurian. Sudah kita sampaikan tadi. Jadi sekalian dilaporkan ke Bawaslu juga ya? Iya, betul. Tambahan nah, bukti. Nah, untuk harapan ke Bawaslu sendiri gimana Bang? Untuk uh, lanjut? Ya, kita harap dalam waktu uh, paling lambat hari Senin Pak Wiranto sudah dipanggil.